This is Kyle Bauer reporting from the border just west of El Paso, Texas at the St. Teresa Import-Export Station. On this report, we're going to look at some of the actual crossing of cattle. Raul Tellez has exported cattle for many years through this facility and others. Where are we and how have you used this facility in the past? We are, right now we're standing at the, on the American side at Santa Teresa Import-Export uh, facilities on the Mexican side, of course they're identical as this, and over the course of the last 26 years, through this port and other ports along the border, I have crossed over 18,000 head of dairy cows, horses, limousine bulls, Hereford bulls, Charley bulls, all, all breeds of cattle. Okay, the cattle that cross the actual border from the Mexican side to the American side, the feeder steers, they arrive one day prior, approximately one day prior they're downloaded on the Mexican side. You have your, your clean and your not clean pens. Your clean are the cattle just from the state of Chihuahua, which is on one side of the facility. The other pens are the cattle from other states. They have these two different pens or two different sides of the facility to minimize commingling of animals, and that's for an animal health perspective. We have a 20-foot high border fence that went up at the by the end of October of 2008. With that, we have two gates. We, and when we need to cross cattle, we get a schedule, we contact customs. Uh, they're at our disposal. That Within 10 minutes, they'll have an officer here that unlocks that gate. The only thing that's allowed to cross here are cattle, equine or uh, horses, equine or, or cattle. Uh, we've had special dispensation in the past between USDA and Sagarpa, the Mexican equivalent of USDA, to cross bison or sheep. But uh, those are different requirements and different pens, and it's a matter of uh, basically what we usually cross here is cattle and horses. No personnel. It's not one of the 26 authorized personnel crossing ports. Once they've reviewed the paperwork for the different lots of cattle, and a lot of cattle can be anywhere from eight animals, but it can go up to 800 animals. That's, it's all ownership determined. We have members that have a few head. We have members that have 30,000 head. Once they have gone through the inspection, they go through a waiting, uh, waiting pen, a holding pen. They'll drip for, once they come out of the bath, they'll drip for 20 minutes. At times, they, they must be dry to cross the border. At times during the winter, it's difficult when you have really cold winds or you have snow or rain conditions, but they're kept there, they're kept dry, and then they're crossed into the United States. This is Kyle Bauer finishing my report from the Mexican-American border just west of El Paso, Texas at the St. Teresa import-export station. I hope you have a greater understanding of what it takes to import and export livestock into the United States from Mexico and I hope you have a greater appreciation for the commitment that the Chihuahuan ranchers have to the American beef industry.